Okay, so let's make a context-free grammar for this language, which I'm informally writing as non-palindromes over 0 and 1. So if you don't remember, a palindrome is a string that is exactly the same when read one way and the other way. So as an example, a palindrome over 0 and 1 could in principle be 0, 1, 1, 0. So if we read it uh, going forward and going backward, it's identically the same string. And a non-palindrome, if we just change one of the characters, in fact, you can change any of the characters here. So let's do 0, 1, 0, 0. Then clearly the badness is happening between the 1 and the 0 here. But it could also be that we have a 1 over here, and that this character was a 1 here. So the badness has to happen at some point. But what can happen on either side, as long as the two halves are the same length on either side, so the badness is at the, this zero and this one this time, if the badness happens at the same distance from either end, it doesn't matter what happens on either end, as long as it's the same distance. Because if we read it this way, and then this way, it needs to have a different character because we're talking about non-palindromes. And so therefore, once we get to here, if we look at what happens on the inside, it could be, in principle, anything also. And in fact, it could be anything at all. It doesn't have to be the same length or even or whatever. How can we make a context for grammar for this? This behavior right here has to happen at the same distance from either end. But it could be any characters at all on either side. It doesn't matter that they're the same or different or anything. So I'm going to make a context-free grammar right here. So I'm going to have a start variable called s. And I'm going to, at first, generate the same characters on either side. So 0, s0, or 1, s1. So that's the same on either side. But if we want to generate a 0 and a 1, or a 1, 0, then that will correspond to a bad behavior, which is what we want in this particular language, because it's non-palindromes. If we want to apply a rule with a 0 on the front and a 1 on the end, I can't go back here, because then that would imply that this was a not yet okay behavior. What we want to do is we want to go to a different variable I'm going to call x, and x is going to handle actually getting to a string of terminals, which is what we want. And the other condition of 1, x, 0 is also going to be here. So note that s is finally complete at this point, and notice that there's no right-hand side corresponding to s with no variables on it. Every single one of these has a variable. So therefore, if we want to actually make a string of terminals, we have to go through the x, one of these two rules right here, which involve x. And so therefore, if we did that, then we must have generated different characters at the same distance from either end, which corresponds to non-palindromes. And so therefore, we can, at, at x's point, we can just generate whatever. So 0x or 1x or empty. So it doesn't matter what happens in the middle, as long as it's the same distance from either end. And so therefore, that is a context-free grammar for the set of non-palindromes over 0, 1.